This playthrough is rated T for teen. Two men are about to battle to the death. The dark and brooding Yuri and the pious and ambitious Nikolai. Who will come out on top? Let's find out at the end of disc one. Greetings and salutations, viewers. We're back here with another episode of Shadow Hearts Covenant. In the last episode, we uh, checked around Europe, got everyone's like either items or special abilities we can get at this current time, and we got the powerful mind's eye from the tournaments or from the Solomon's trials. So now it's time to head on to Pointed Tower. But before that, let's uh, do some uh, graveyard stuff and unlock a couple of things for Yuri. Because now he can get, because he's got a couple of soul things, he can now get the next level of fusions. Fusion? Ha! Alright, let's go with fire first. Uh, each, basically each character will have something uh, challenging or different about them, depending on who you fight. So, uh, whatever their big thing is when you fight them, is they'll take advantage of that. So for fire, it's going to be, it's going to be uh, rage. So we'll have to, you basically hope you have high defense or can take his attack, so... You feel powerful waves emanating from the fire altar. Hold the soul drop up to it. Yes, let's do it. The soul drop releases the power of fire. For boss time against, well, this creature. So, uh, Sever, uh, or whatever. But anyway, you can fuse to whoever. I'm almost, I'll just fuse to Amon. I've also got the Mind's Eye equipped. The best thing, the great thing about Yuri's uh, Gambit Ring is his Mind's Eye is basically uh, direct south on the thing. So as long as I hit hit the perfect south here, look at that damage! Holy crap! We almost finished him off already too. The power of the Mind's Eye, baby! Take that, you punk! <laughs> Two turns. I guess I don't know my own. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> but anyway, we beat him. So yeah, as long as, as long as I hit direct south on the judgment ring, I'll hit, maybe not perfect, but I'll hit my ring every time. So that's the easiest way to do it. Just figure out where it is on, on the, the track. But uh, lucky for me, Yuri's ring is perfectly set up. So whew, I'm ready to go now. And we got the Fides soul. And we now can use Arc Rage. The power of fire has been completely resurrected. So... Now we can cast Rage whenever we want on uh, that fire turn. I actually need to buff up the... Well, yeah, we are in the graveyard. Let's take a look at the uh, the one we unlocked, so... Alright, we unlocked uh, Fides here. Fire God, summoned by the soul that, uh, that fights on no matter how often it has tasted defeat. Each time it swings its fiery sword, the world's filth is burned away. So, yeah, just a souped-up version of the previous one. We can also soul charge him if we want. How far are we? We've got quite a bit of a soul. I could probably afford to max him out at this time if I wanted to. Might as well. We're right there, so. I said the fire one's probably my favorite out of the... Anyway, we can now use Hell Flame. Let's take a look at those uh, abilities. Hellflame, fire class, special damage, circular, six hits. So. Yeah, just because of being able to use rage uh, is probably one of my, my favorite of the, the normal ones. And we also get Inferno, which is fire damage. That's single target, 15 hits. So I know the way to get some easy, uh, easy hits. And we maxed it out. All right. So now I can no longer soul charge that. How much experience do I have left? Still quite a bit. Because I haven't been using it. So um, what do I want to use uh, buff up now? See, I usually tend to use fire a lot. Um, hmm. I could do dark. Although I'll, I'll, if I use elementals, I'll probably either use fire or Amon, to tell you the truth. Yeah, hey, you know what? We'll choose the uh, dark elemental. Why not? <clears throat> Unlock that one. Nope, that's uh, this one right here. I mean, you can choose whatever. We'll get soul drops for the rest of these eventually, so. You feel powerful ways emanating from the dark altar. Yep. The power of darkness! For boss battle against 
Vela is there, but we never see his true form, so we'll just go Amon again. Um, I think the dark one uses Surge, if I remember correctly. Yeah, look at that damage. Even if I don't get a perfect, yeah, I use the Surge. Because he'll power up his special attacks, so... Oh my crap! <laughs> oh my god, another two turd. The power of Mind's Eye, man. It's all. It almost breaks the game <laughs> because of just how much powerful it is. Like, this will be a boss killer. Damn, that feels good. And we get the Somnian Soul for defeating that. So, the power of darkness has been completely resurrected. So, let's take a look at this, uh, this one now. The power of darkness. Somnian. Archangel of Darkness, born from the inner conflict between the desire for destruction and the suppression of that desire. It wields the power of the Abyss. Yeah, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we can uh, we can soul charge it. Actually, it probably should be soul charging Amon, actually. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use up the rest of our uh, current souls. While we're here, anyway. I'll try to level up everything by the end of the game. Anyway, we could now use the end. Just to show everything off. There will be some places where we'll be able to get souls pretty easily. So. Uh, one more. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here because we only had the two soul drops, so. Those guys are supposed to be tougher, but because I've got the mind's eye, it's a lot easier. <laughs> and I know how to hit it almost every dead every time, so. Uh, and it helps that I have the Coral Laureate. But anyway, let's head on to Point of Tower, where it all began. Yeah, it seems pretty straightforward. Oh yeah, I've got the doubler equipped to Anastasia and the pedometer, so. Always make sure you have the pedometer on no matter where you're at. Uh oh. What on earth is Nikolai doing here? Elliot, my brother-in-law, told me a long time ago, a tower in the Vatican holds all the anger and hatred of the world, and the vault at the top must never be opened. Elliot was uh, Alice's father who got killed by uh, Albert Simon. What would happen if it was... Now we get to hear this good, uh, great music again. <laughs> I actually like the tower's music here. We only hear it here, though. They say all that evil and resentment would take root in people's hearts. You mean everyone would start arguing? It wouldn't, it wouldn't just be arguments, you doofus. You moron! Anyway. What the? Come on, guys. Don't, stop sleeping on the job. No, there's a treasure chest over there. I must get it! Yeah, see, you see that treasure chest over there? It's just begging for us to be grabbed. Anyway. Anything for him? Nope. Nothing, nothing for these guys? Okay. Well, anyway. All right. Anything you grabbed earlier would have been already grabbed, but now we can go up this way instead, because before we couldn't go this way, so. And we go through up here, through this door, and yeah, this is how you get the treasure chest, so. Alright, here we get a bl the Belial Crest. Let's take a look at that one. Blyle gives you the Red Rave and Red Blaze uh, spells. So. And here we get a Strike Expand. Alright. Uh, we'll give that to Joaquim, I think. Oops, uh, let's see where There it is. I don't know why I was... Oh yeah, I need to change out my hit, area, uh, hit effects, even though... Even though I'm not really hitting with these guys half the time, so. Yeah, 
I mean, I'm just equipping them. They're not. I don't really care what they are. So most times I finish off the enemies fast enough to where it doesn't matter because I'm us usually using magic or something like that. And with Yuri being able to almost one shot a lot of guys by himself now, outside of bosses, we'll be fine. So. All right, let's go back up the fourth floor. Unless you need to save or fourth floor. Actually, we do need to go to the fourth floor, but yeah, we just need to keep head up to the third floor and, and continue on. And we got new enemies here too, three to be exact. All right, now we have the emptiness and danters and le lemurs. Oh, we got all of them already. Huh? Cool. Uh. Well, anyway, I'll go over them. I was thinking about how to do this with, uh, with, uh, could wait till, uh, it's Anastasia's turn, but anyway. Let's go with the Emptiness. Emptiness. Uh, they have 100 HP, 103 MP, they're Fire Elemental, normal weight, 280 experience, 1 soul, 296 cash. They can drop Terror Seeds, they can Rare Drop Terror Roots. They're immune to Poison, D-Poison, Paralysis, KO, P Attack Down, S Attack Down, Slow, and HP Down. And then we got Dancers here. Uh, has 168 HP, 101 MP, light elemental, normal weight, 555 experience, one soul, 598 cash, can drop Phoenix Tails. They have a rare drop of uh, Mana Root. Uh, they're immune to Poison, D Poison, Paralysis, Petrify, KO, P Attack Down, S Attack Down, Slow, and HP Down. And then got Lemuris here, or Lemurs. I think it's Lemuris. Anyway, they got 110 HP, 99 MP, Wind Elemental, Lightweight, 288 experience, one soul drop, 286 cash drop. Phoenix Tail, they have a rare, uh, as the regular drop. Rare drop is Pure Roots. They're immune to Poison, D Poison, Seal, Petrify, KO, P Defense Down, S Defense Down, Delay, and Evade Down as their abilities. So. I think I'll hit guys that, that uh, can't be hit with our camera and have uh, Anastasia go last, I think. I mean, uh, let's see, we got a bunch of emptiness. Oh, Lim Aries around here, so. Might as well, I'll just have Anastasia cast a. Uh, and I don't want to finish you guys off, so. Because I wanted to take a picture of you guys, so. I could do aromatherapy, just to unlock more aromatherapies, so. Let's see. That one's healing, that one's per uh, status ailments, that one is physical defense power. Could do that one, just to, just to unlock them. Uh, the night oil in ocean is actually pretty interesting because it does uh, strike area expand, but we don't need to use that, so I'm just going to use... Uh, Grass oil and misty oil. Oh yeah, that will that will end the combo, won't it? Hmm. That's fine. Let's get a snapshot on you. Now I can technically take Anastasia out of the group if I wanted to. Well, I'm surprised you dodge. My guys almost never dodge. Ow. Who'd you get hit next to? Lucia, huh? Eh, could do crest magic. I don't know you're gonna do enough damage, though. Yeah, not, not far enough, so. Really? Not enough to hit that guy? I mean, it's not going to do any, enough damage, but... Well, I finished off one of them, I guess. Ow. Uh, yeah, I'll just hit him. Well, I'm surprised I'm hitting perfect so often with this thing with this guy. Ah, nuts. Well, she did have tight ring, so 
Should just hit it as wherever I could. Oh well. Alright, keep doing your random noise there, dude. Sure, why not? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot to give someone uh, just healing. Now eh, we'll give it to Blanca. Luckily we can change this out whenever we want, so... I think I'll leave... Might change that Anastasia for maybe Blanca. Nah, we're probably good right now, anyway. Okay, let's just keep going. And uh, since I've already done all the battles, I can skip out the rest of the, the, rest of the battles, because we fought everyone once, so... It'll give us a chance to listen to the music until we until our encounters get uh, broken up by uh, enemies. But yeah, if you missed any of the treasures for whatever read reason, you can grab them now, but they won't refill, so. We have to hit, uh, find out where the mistletoe was. Okay, walking well, gained a level there, and I almost bypassed this. I wanted this is where we would have gotten the, gone to the mistletoe. However, there's a surprise here. Our favorite person, the Ring Soul. Yeah, ah, Ring Soul. Haven't seen you in ages. Not that long ago. Sorry to keep you waiting. So today I'll assume the role of Miyabi, playing the Ring Soul. I'm so nervous. Huh? My name is Ring Soul. I'm the will of the Judgment Ringling, the administrator of Diddly Widdly Fate. What the? That's how your wife talks? Surely she doesn't really speak like that, does she? You can't hide from little Measy. I can see your future. Here, my present to you, and a kiss. You got a flirty wife, I'll admit. I'm jealous. Th thanks. It's the power to Judgment Ring. Yippee! <laughs> Next time I see you, you little cutie, I'll give you more power. I'm gonna watch and make sure every one of you cuties is nice to Mr. Destiny. I had such a great time today. You're my best friends. Th thank you, cutesy pie. That's the kind of thing that was my Miyabi. She talks real cute, huh, right? She talk talks like a uh, like a pop idol or something, a Japanese pop idol. Oh wait, her name's Japanese. So. Y yeah, sure. <laughs> Whew, I've been practicing that one for ages. Even every, every, every evening, haven't done anything else. Oh, I'm so pleased you liked it. Maybe next time I could tr do my daughter, Aya. Oh, no, don't worry. No, no. No, I don't mind, really. It'd be fun. Uh, okay. Okay, then. Better get practicing. See you. What kind of woman is she? I don't know, man. I don't know. But anyway, we got another uh, attack boost for our party members, so... Uh, who gets it now? Now I'm just trying to think. Uh, well, uh, Anastasia and, like, Lucia only get three three attacks. Same with Geppetto, so it doesn't... Really, so I guess I'll give it to Anastasia. Why not? Even though, actually, Lucia is the better attacker out of the group. Out of the two. In terms of the on terms of the magic users, I think she does the most physical damage out of the three. I think. I think, if I remember correctly, I'd have to look at the stats again. But I think she's slightly more powerful than Anastasia. I think Geppetto's the. Actually, no, Geppetto's kind of in the middle of the road. I think it might be Anastasia is actually the weakest of the phys of the fighters because, you know, she's seven or what. Actually, I don't remember her actual age. She's pretty young though, maybe like ten or something like that. But. All right, Anastasia gained a level there, and uh, ah man. Sealed door. The door is tightly sealed. That's all right. We'll have to figure out a way to open it. So, all right, we got ourselves an interesting quandary here. Got ourselves the worst thing imaginable in a dungeon: puzzles. Ugh. No. What are these scales for? It looks like a machine for weighing things, but you need something to use as a counterweight. So basically, it's a math. We have to figure the the right math for this thing. So let's take a look at this. It's a pair of scales. Judge is blind, or judgment is blind, or whatever. Anyway, let's take a look at this thing. It's if crime's weight balances yellow, execution, kidnapping, execution. 
If crime's weight balances yellow, execution. Kidnapping is twice as bad as stealing. Arson is four times as bad as stealing. Murder is four times as bad as kidnapping. A three-time arsonist will be executed. Executed. Hmm. So this is how we're supposed to figure out the uh, the puzzle for this. So we got a few uh, things we can grab here. So we get the kidnapper's weight. So let's take a look at that. Oh yeah, it's under uh, uh, not library. It's under. Uh, Actually, we fought in everything at this point, so I can actually show off the rest of the enemies here. Emptiness. Merciless executioner that lives within a pointed tower and slices up any invaders of would-be rescuing foolish enough to enter. Daunters. Covered in human and reptile skin, the statue takes over not only the skin, but also the very souls of its unfortunate victims. It's light, uh, light elemental. And then Lumira is... Spirit of a nobleman who died for, for a crime he didn't commit. Unaware of his own death, he still clings pathetically to his former authority. Respect my authority. And there's the no effect and everything with that. Just I don't have the items because you actually have to get the items from the character to unlock those. So, but my list already has them ready to go. So we also have Savarok here or Savar Savarzorik, uh, born from the black smoke that pollutes the atmosphere. This evil spirit resides in the mental realm and crushes the Harmonixer's battle spirit. And then we've got Velas here. Born from the unclean darkness that breeds ill will, this evil spirit resides in the mental realm and steals the Harmonixer's reason. So, okay, anyway. We'll get the rest of those later. Uh, okay. But anyway, uh, go over the kidnappers wait there. All right, where are you at? Kidnappers wait. Tool of justice in ancient Rome, the bronze weight was for kidnapping. Though a light crime, if the victim was injured, the combined weight could equal murder. So that's supposed to be a clue on how to solve the the puzzle there. Alright, here we get the murderer's weight. Alright, where are you? Murderer's weight. Murderer's weight. Tool of justice in ancient Rome, the murderer's weight was gold. He who kills one person must pay in the world, but he who kills two must pay in the next. Okay. Now let's go over here and grab the other two weights. You don't have to grab all of them if you know the solution, but I'm grabbing them all just to show you. Anyway, we get the arson, uh, arson's uh, weight. Or arsonist's weight. Tool of justice in ancient Rome. The arsonist's weight was silver, considered more serious than theft or kidnapping because burnt property was lost forever. Kind of like back during the Wild West that if you stole someone's ho horse, was stealing his livelihood. So you basically killed the man if you stole his horse. So it, that was results for hanging and stuff like that. Anyway, the thief's weight is the final weight we get here. All right, let's take a look at that one. Uh, let's see, where are you? Thieves' weight. Tool of justice in ancient Rome. Weights representing crimes were placed on the balance to decide punishment. The black thieves' weight was relatively light. As long as it didn't steal uh, ruins people's uh, lives, I guess. Theft was uh, not as considered as bad, so. It's a pair of scales. So now we can put the weight on here. So the way it's supposed to work uh, from, from a number standpoint is... We have to assume, out, out of all the weights, because the thieves' weight is the lightest, is that it is a value of one. And kidnapping to thievery is is worse, so we'll do that at times two. And then arson is worse than thievery by being four times as bad. If you put the weights together, you can kind of figure out their weight distribution. Then murder uh, is to kidnapping at times four, which is thievery at times eight. And then arson is times three is executable. So to balance the weight, we need arson at times three, uh, according to the dis uh, description there. So since arson at time three is thievery times four times three, we need a weight of 12 based off thievery, which is four times three equals 12. So murder is thievery at times eight, and arson is thievery at times four, so four plus eight is 12. So the way we have to figure it out is we put the murder and the arsonist on the, uh, the weight, and that'll be enough for to balance out the scales. And there we go. That opens the door. Yeah, it's basically a, a, a logic puzzle. So sounds like a door opening behind. Nothing too dangerous. Yeah, if it 
I was about to say, if you fail this this puzzle, you just had to fight an enemy and to just figure it out again. That's all that happens. Just you're forced into an encounter. Anyway, Lucia gained a level from that. Now right, let's go ahead and save it in. Up. Oh, we finally ran out of files, so I'll have to start saving from the top. But I think I've had plenty of episodes gone by that were good here. Uh, do I need to heal? No, I don't think so. No, we'll keep going. I was thinking if I needed to use a tent or not, but I haven't really used that much in the way of magic, so. All right, what do we got here? Another type of puzzle. Mm, a bunch of cages. Still just a rage. I'm just a rat in a cage, huh? All right. Well, let's check the switch out. Looks like a lever to move the pan. Uh, put it at the top level. Put it at the lower level. Okay. Top level? Ah. I see. Any other switches in here? Or is it just the one? Looks like it's just the one right now, so. Alright, let's climb up the stairs then. Alright, Yuri and Blanca gained a level there, so. Anyway, let's go up. See what this floor has. Ooh. Alright, let's uh, get this chest over here. Alright, this one gets us a pure extract. I don't know if I've read the pure extract. Let me take a look at the items really quick. Okay, we've gotten this before. Wasn't sure if we had one already or not, so. Alright, we want to go up the sta uh, other stairs up here. Yeah, we basically have to move back and down, flipping switches and stuff like that, so. Yeah, Joaquin is now invisible for him. And yeah, if you check back here, you get a seal of the soul, which I want to use that on Anastasia at some point. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I might, I might uh, use that on her. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, I usually like show it on screen, but I'm so bad about that. It'd probably be better to use it if she, if you have the uh, a uh, coral lariat on her. So I might maybe swap out her. I mean, I don't need the lens right now anyway. It just lowers her stats a little bit, but. That'll be using a battle a little bit easier, so. And we'll just equip something. Give her the coral lariat. That way we can actually hit that thing. Then before we mess with these switches, there's also a treasure chest over here. This gets us a hit area expand. All right, now let's, uh... All right, Joaquin gained a level, and I was able to get that SP thing, so now she's got 11. So that'll help out quite a bit. All right, let's put the switch here. Yeah, the Coral Lay really helps with those types of things, because it slows it down, so you're more likely to hit the strike range to get the max use out of it, so... All right, this one we want to move down. So, down to the lower level. And yeah, we need to go back down and hit that other switch that we uh, had to bypass before because we didn't have a thing down there, so. This takes us to the next area, but I want to, or, well, it takes us back downstairs, but anyway, let's flip the switch again. Looks like a lever to move, so. Okay, we want to move it down to the lower level. And then we need to go back down to the ground floor. Alright, let's go back down to the bottom floor that we were just at. Yeah, I just realized I had Grand Pappy on for a bit and now I have Golden Bat. I should have should have taken Joaquim out. I gotta pay attention to his uh Joachisms or whatever. Because it throws me off when he gets Grandpappy on more often. I'm like, oh, no. I want to use him for bosses. Anyway. All right. Let's grab that treasure chest that we missed before. I don't know if you saw it in the background. That, or it was in the corner. But now we get the Paimon crest for that. Do I have enough crest to change out? Well, I'll do it right before we fight the boss. How about that? Uh, let's see. Paimon. Where are you? There it is. Paimon. Uh, Paimon is Evil Ray and Evil Born. 
so we can have another version of uh, the second one there, so. Okay. That's it for that. Let's go back up to the top. All right, Anastasia gained another level. And now we can, uh, we just have to get back up to the next floors and flip the switch up there and we'll be able to get to the top of this thing. Yeah, funny how Nikolai and Karen were able to get to the top with just a convenient teleportation, but no, we have to actually walk through the thing. But anyway. All right, flip it to the top and that'll be enough for us to get to the top ourselves, so. Everything has been flipped. There we go. Good thing we're almost done with this dungeon. We're almost out of HP and uh, MP, so. This should start looking familiar here pretty soon. Well, the whole stage looks familiar, but. Yeah, see, this is where Nikolai and Karen got the mistletoe, so. Alright, let's see heal. Game? I'm right about to save it. Anyway, uh, Lucia, uh, Geppetto, and Karen gained a level there, so. Alright, let's go and uh, heal. And let me, let's see, let's use a tent. And then let me change out my party really quick, so. Let me save it, and give me a second, and I will be, uh, I'll be right back with a loaded, uh, um, where I've uh, adjusted everyone, so I'll be back in a second. Alright, we're back. Uh, go ahead and do Karen, Yuri, Geppetto, and Anastasia. Uh, Karen with the Western Barrett Circlet and Coral Pendant. Mind's Eye, Coral Pendant, and Chainmail Belt on Yuri. Geppetto has the Silver Chair, Warwick Earrings, and Headgear. And Anastasia has the Panoramic Set Lens, Banded Earrings, and Coral Lariat on her. Uh, quest wise give I would give Geppetto and Anastasia the arc abilities so you could give it on Karen if you want to double up on some of them uh, And then obviously give healing and all the other good stuff The really two big ones for this fight are gonna be barrier and gale are the big ones uh, Anything else is just extra Topping on the cake, you know, so all right, let's do this All right time to stop Nikolai once and for all Well, it's been a long time. Rasputin is dead now. Yes, I know. But what of it? He was never your true enemy anyway. Nikolai, what are you trying to accomplish? What are you after? This vault is filled to overflowing with the hatred, malice, and despair of the countless souls who have perished here. What if all that malice were to be suddenly released? Yeah, what if? It would creep into the hearts of people all over the world. All their petty, paltry vices would become magnified, warped into bitterness, anger, and envy. Don't you see? Men will slaughter each other like cattle to get ahead. Yes, the 21st century will be a time of unprecedented conflict and bloodshed. How can you? Very easily. Do you think you can stop me, Lily? Yeah. <laughs> what I want to do is to crush you. The man who beat Cardinal Albert Simon. Who endured the mistletoe's curse. Who refused to bend before Rasputin. If I can't destroy you, I'll never be able to forgive myself. Behold! Aren't they beautiful? Perfect balls of negative energy. God Slayer, Pandora's box has been reopened. These unfettered bundles of malice will infect the world 
forever. <laughs> you can try your best, but no matter how much you fight, the age of darkness is nigh. Best, come on. Time to take Nik Nikolai down a peg for boss battle against a a Nikolai slash Astaroth himself. And we got the bot next bo battle boss music here. So, all right, Astaroth. Uh, let's yeah, let's switch to fire mode for now. But we'll probably go to er uh, wind mode for a specific reason. But anyway, Astaroth has 3,040 HP, 472 MP, no element, lightweight. Uh, seven, uh, 17,400 experience, 150 souls, 15,000 cash. He drops a specific uh, item and delay two, and he has uh, he's immune to poison, de poison, paralysis, seal, petrify, KO, P attack down, P defense down, S attack down, S defense down, delay slow, evade down, and HP down. Uh, high combo hits gives us a cosmic bracelet, extra souls for low enemy turns, and ring perfects get extra cash. Um, uh, although weirdly enough, even though he's supposed to be immune to S defense down, I've heard it still works on him. So I'd equip some people with that item on him. So anyway, let's go ahead and cast uh, Arc Rage on, on ourselves. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and, we can go and attack, I guess. Now right, let's go and cast uh, Arc Gale. And then we'll go and cast Arc Barrier, because he likes to use magic, so. Anything else is extra. And we will at least take a turn to get some combos going on, on him. All right, Sephiroth, jeez. Okay, yeah, we'll be able to combo for... Uh, I was hoping to do uh, Geppetto first. What would happen if I defend? No. I can... Geppetto's going faster than I expected, actually. I mean, we could always... Well, all right, we'll just... We'll, we'll change things up a bit, so... I mean, we don't need to have super high combo. We just need to have a... Uh... Right, let's... I could try Geppetto for to Evil Ray. It won't get full hits, but... What is your... Let's see, I gave her... Evilborn. It's about the same either way. Okay. Yeah, we'll hit him with the Evil Ray, even though it's not gonna... It's not gonna hit very much, so... Because he's already in the air, so... Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, hmm, that broke the combo. I didn't realize it would do that. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. We'll try it again. Ow. Yeah, this guy hits hard. All right, let's try it one more time. I, I get... Oh, I'll have another turn, though. I'm trying to think if there's any way to get a turn on Geppetto without... Nah, we'll just do it on Karen again. Oh, wait, no, I have another turn. I'll just attack.
Okay, now we can combo. Well, I was gonna use this special ability to get a, like a 15 hit uh, attack with Inferno. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Show it off anyway. I was about to say, you think about the Kamehameha someone? No. Isn't it weird that my regular attack would do more damage, I think? Oh well. Um... Actually, let's have Anastasia. Um... You know, I forgot to put wind magic on someone, so... Hmm. The Geppetto, uh, let's see, what do you got? Yeah, I just gave him Evil Ray again. Alright, well, we won't be able to... Well, that 15 hit kind of works anyway for what I want, so... Um, is he too far on the ground for that? Yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll do Guess Bent. We should have enough hits anyway, so... Or Geishpins, whatever. That should be enough hits, I think. Yep, uh, well, I might only get one or two hits from that, so... Yeah, better to hit him with a combo attack instead, so... Oh, look at that damage. Holy crap. Might have to heal after this, though. Oh, he finally cast Barrier on himself, huh? Ow. Uh, let's see. I think I gave our crest to basically everyone, so. Or our cure. Um, just trying to think about what I can do with her. Yeah, we'll just attack. Oh, finally got a special attack to degrees. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Da 500 damage every time I do something, so. I can't cast that yet, so. Yeah, he's almost dead. Let's throw a, let's drop a pumpkin on Astaroth, shall we? Yeah, let's see if it'll let me cast uh, Gale again or not. All right, yep. Might as well. You know we're almost done with this. Oh, wait, no. No, I was thinking of something else there for a second. Uh, I think I'll be fine without casting Arc Rage. Whoops. There we go. Huh. God, Mind's Eye just, like, obliterates enemies. I mean, 500 damage per go. Almost. Stay out of my way. Bye, Nikolai. Anyway, we got the cosmic bracelet, so it was enough. I always forget how many I need. I just know you need a decent amount of hits to it. I know anything above 30 is usually near the end of the game, 30 or 35. So, but anyway, yeah, we get Galahad's sword as well. The sword he was using. And everyone gets a level except for Lucia. Sorry, Lucia. All right, let's see what uh, Nikolai releasing the delay has done and see what happens at the end of disc one. I 
suppose that I am beaten, even with the power of Astaroth. Uh. Time to finish it. Kato. In the name of the Emperor, I'm taking this man under my protection. I do not wish to fight you. Please leave. No way. If this man is truly next in line to the Tsardom of Russia, then as an allied country, we cannot simply let you kill him. <sighs> Look at those. Do you have any idea what those are going to do? It was you who let it happen. <sighs> the malice is already invading the people's hearts. It's too late for them. Taking this person's life is not going to change anything. Stay out of this. Yuri! I'm going back to the capital. Your war is over now. Look for another way to live. Farewell. Well, looks like Kado has, uh, has apparently had his own gym this whole time. Finally grew, grew a backbone since the, since the first, uh, since the first game. But what is its plan, and what is the mal what will the malice do to Russia itself? Well, for those who know history, we already know the fact of that. But what is Kato's uh, plan? What is he going to do with Nikolai? Are we going to have to head to Asia to find out what's going on with that? We'll find out in Disc 2 of Shadow Hearts Covenant. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.